What's up, guys? Football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel. Guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out, helps my channel out, guys, helps me grow into the Boss Nation. Thank y'all so much, man. So much coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. And all fam, welcome, baby. Welcome to today's video, guys. About my number two team, the Hawks, which a lot of people might not know, but they are against those yellow baited Tigers from LSU. Which, yes, I hate LSU, I despise LSU, but I do respect LSU. But, fam, look, guys, just sit back and relax, man. We got a lot, a lot to go over, man. A lot to talk about in this video and whatnot. A lot of breakdowns. And then, after I get through reading all these stats, fam, all of these stats, guys. Then we're going to do the nitty-gritty like we always do, bro. And we're going to really break things down. But anyway, fam, look, guys. Just sit back, man. I'll just get to reading. Okay, so fam, Arkansas versus LSU. Arkansas was 6-3. A hell of a freaking record, baby. Compared to last year, which last year, bro, they did awesome. Out of all SEC schedule. 3-7 last year, which some of those games were, you know, objective. But still, 3-7 three, three, three and seven record should have been more. But well, fam, look, six and three this year, guys. Was ranked number eight in the nation, man, uh, earlier this year. So fam, the Hawks have really been doing good, guys. Like they have been doing their thing, which I really respect, really love, and really, really do care about. And LSU, four and five and whatnot this year. So not doing so good this year and whatnot. Fam, the game is at 6 30 p.m. 6 30 p.m. on game, guys. Prime time channel, SEC Network. And it's in LSU's house, in which the Hawks, baby, the Hawks are favored by two and a half points. Over on is 59. And guys, all of this is still, it's in LSU's house, but the Hawks are still favored, my, my brothers and sisters. Two and a half points. So, fam, look, let's just get started, man. All right, so Ed O'Jerome has revealed that offensive lineman Jason Hines and Anthony Bradford are out for the rest of the season. All right. So, Hawks, take note of that, baby. You know, these boys are out, you know. So, um, it's definitely going to add, you know what I'm saying, definitely going to add to um to this. You know, I ain't going to say that word yet because I don't know how this is going to be, but that's definitely good news. And also, on top of that, Ed Ingram will be out for the um at least a week after sustaining a hit in the head this week. Oh, my prayers to this, um, to this brother, um, Ed Ingram and whatnot. But yeah, guys, um, by these people being out though, fam, you know, this this thing this should make things a little more easy for the Hawks, bro, because L LSU no lie. They are decimated and whatnot in their secondary. And you know, the defense and whatnot, guys, haven't been that good either. But you know what? I'm not gonna talk about that yet. Let me just keep reading, fam. Okay, as far as the team stats, the Hawks um average points scored 300 uh 32.6, and LSU is 28.7. Average points allowed, the Hogs 24, and uh, LSU 27.8. Average total yards, 457.2 for the um, for the Hogs, and 372.6 for LSU. Average total yards allowed is uh, 351.2 for the Hogs, and 397.3 for LSU. And giveaways, the Hogs got 7, LSU got 10. Takeaways, Hogs got 10, and LSU got 12. So fam, um, these these stats, bro, they're not too, you know, they're not too up and down. They're kind of similar a lot, man. You know, it kind of similar to points for um average points per score, um, average points allowed, average total yards, average total yards allowed. Like they they kind of similar. You know, they're not they're not too far off. And also, fam, the Razorbacks average thirty two point six points per game, four point eight more than the Tigers give up, which is twenty seven point eight. Uh, when the Hawks put up more than 27.8 points, it is they are four and two against the spread and five and one overall. So Hawks put up some points, baby. Put up some points. The Hawks averaged 59.9 more per more yards per game, 457.2, and the Tigers give up per contest 397.3. So that's good. And in games that the Hawks goes goes on um, in games that the Hawks go over three. 397.3 yards. The team is 5-2 and two against the spread and 4-2 and two overall. So, fam, look, man, I wrote down these notes. You know how I write, man. I write crazy. Sometimes I can't even read my own writing, so just bear with me. Um, the Hawks have seven giveaways this season, while the Tigers have 12. 
takeaways. So fam, that's for the hogs. Now let me read LSU, man. And we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Cause I know what y'all are waiting for, man, which I'm waiting for it too, because I wherever I think in my head, fam, that's what I'm gonna say. LSU is four and five against the spread this year. LSU has been on the dogs by two and a half points or more three times, three times this year, and have covered the spread twice. Ugh, okay. LSU racks up 4.7 more points per game, 28.7, than the Razorback Surrender, 24. LSU is 3-2 and two against the spread and 4-1 and one overall in games when, it's, when it records more than 24 points. So definitely keep LSU from scoring, fam. Keep them down. The Tigers collect 21.4 more yards per game, 372.6, than the Razorbacks, than the Razorbacks give up per outing, 351.2. In games, the LSU goes over 351.2 yards. The team is 2-3 against the spread and 2-3 and overall. And LSU also has 10 turnovers this season, equal to the number of takeaways the Hogs have. All right, fam. All right. So those are little stats, you know, those are some numbers and whatnot. Guys, fam, uh, let me know how y'all feel about these numbers in the comment section. But fam, it's time for the nitty gritty, man. It's time for us to really talk about Arkansas versus LSU. So fam, look, man, guys, y'all know I'm big. I'm, a, I'm, 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 of course, I'm a Bama fan, bro. But man, I'm also a Hall fan, man. And y'all have turned me into one, bro. Y'all. It's just the way y'all, man, y'all remind me of us. Y'all fight hard, determination. You got a good head coach, bro. I like your fans. I like, I, I really like the Hawks, bro, okay? I like, I love my team, but I like the Hawks too. So, bro, look, man, my passion runs deep. So, fam, I might, LSU fans, I might seem kind of biased and whatnot in this video, which I know I am. But you, you got to understand, man, I'm, I'm a fan. But, guys, look, last year, bro, I really think the Hall should have won that game. I'm not going to lie. I think the Hall should have won that game. It was 27-24 at LSU in the Hogs' house. In which, in which, guys, bro, like, the Hogs were fighting their ass off, man. LSU was fighting their butts off, too. And I'm not mistaken, man. And that game was rainy. I think it was a little muddy. Like, bro, it was just it was just kind of like a mud bath, but I'm not mistaken, in that game. So, fam, like I said, bro, this year, though, man, this year, fam, Guys, LSU, man, yes, they have not really been playing well, you know. And like I said, against that Florida game, bro, they gave up a lot of points, but they won that game against Florida. It was Florida since then has not looked the same, bro. They just been falling off the cliff. But I will say this, man. When we played LSU last week, just last week, guys, bro, I did not expect LSU to do what they did. Like, I know, I know how Alabama LSU are. I know how our rivalry is. So I guess I should have expected that. But fam, it was a hard fought game from beginning to end. And that running back that got they got, guys, definitely watch out for him. You gotta stop that guy. Cause we couldn't, we had a hard time stopping him, man. Our defense did play good. But when it came to him, bro, he got his yards, man. And I think we only ended up with six yards. And Nick Saban was like, hey, bro, it was enough to win. So look, Hogs, y'all gotta definitely watch out for the running back. Definitely watch out for Max, um, for Max Johnson too, bro. He can throw. Please put pressure on Max all night long. Put pressure on that guy, man. Hit the running back. DFH, which stands for defense for hell. Y'all have got to step up, baby, in this game because fam, look, man, it's gonna be tough going to their house. It's it's gonna be really tough. If it was in the Hall's house, y'all would be favored by even more points. But by y'all going to their house and y'all still favored. That lets you know what people, man, and what the higher ups really think of the Hawks. They still got respect for the Hawks, baby. Y'all, man, we ranked number eight in the nation, man, earlier this year. So, guys, look, we gotta do what we gotta do, man. We for the we for the go to hostile territory. We for the go to in, in in yeah. They say Death Valley, but bro, it's just the fans there. They are nasty, man. They are loud. It's gonna be just chaos, bro. So look, we gotta be prepared for all that, which I think we are. But guys, it's gonna be tough, man. This is going to be a tough game. It's going to be a tough battle, man, because LSU coached over last year. So, man, they are just giving everybody their best right now. I'm talking about their best shot. You know, they're giving everybody their best right now, fam. So, man, we got to go in there, bro. We got to be business-like. We got to have this business mind, this business mentality. Say, look, we're going to go in, we're going to take care of business, and we don't care what it takes. Whatever it takes to get the job done, we're going to get it done, bro. So, look, fam. We got to do this. 
I don't I don't care about the hearsay. All the halls, man, they down right now. Or the halls are not the same as they was when they played your bro. I don't care about all that freaking noise, man. When we go to LSU, it's it's whipping ass time, okay? I'm talking about, bro, it's getting in there. I'm talking about in there, in there. You know what I'm saying, fam? We got to, man, we got we to gotta crush these boys' heart in their house. And it's going to be hard to do. But doggone it, man, the halls can do it, man. If any team can do it in the SEC, bro. I, yeah, we just did it last week. They almost damn crushed ours, but doggone the halls, they can crush theirs too. And I really want to see them, man, crush them in their house, bro. Go to their house and whip their ass, man. That's what I want to see. That's what everybody want to see. And, man, I know LSU by the day, man, this guy's really talk, Bro, it's just how I am. You know what I'm saying? I really, I really don't like LSU. Yes, I respect LSU. I respect them a lot. But, bro, I just despise LSU, man. You know, I just do. I just do, man. I have despised them a long time, bro. And it's not going to, um, I, I don't see that not happening anytime soon. But, yeah, fam, man, Traylon Burks, bro, KJ Jefferson, guys, the whole crew, DFH, man, Morgan, Callow, bro, we all got to come together and get this victory, man. Because I'm telling you, that running back they got, man, he ain't there to play with. Max Johnson, if you do not pressure him, he ain't nothing to play with either. And bro, they're gonna be coaching their butts off because, like I said, this is coach. This is coach O last year. They announced this a couple weeks ago that the man's getting fired. I don't know why they were announced it so soon. Like why they didn't went to the end of the season. But anyway, they did what they they, they did what they did, guys. So they announced this guy's getting fired. So bro, the, the players are gonna play their hearts out. Then they at home too. So, guys, fam, hoes, we got to go in, man. We got to go in. I'm talking about biting everybody. I'm talking about soon we get in, ow, we just take a chuck out somebody's ass, man. Other Jews. I'm talking about somebody from the opposite time, not ours. You know, we can't just take a chuck out of our own ass. We got to take a chuck out of them, bro. I'm talking about everybody we see, man. We got to just be pissed off that night because if we're not, we could get beat. So, fam, look, we're going to do this, okay? We got this, bro. We got this in the bag. I picked the Hawks to win last week game, which a lot of people didn't think they was going to do. But I thought I knew they was going to do it, man. Especially in their house, I knew they was going to do it. Now we're going to LSU, man. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough challenge, especially the way they played us last week. If they play like they did last week, I'm not so sure. But, bro, hopefully, man, even if they do, guys, the Hawks going to find a way to win this game. Hawks, baby. My score prediction, man, for this game right here, fam. Ugh. I think some points gonna be scored. Not too many though. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. <sighs> man, it's a lot of points I'm thinking about, man. I'm thinking about, man, maybe the Hogs 45, LSU 34. I'm kind of thinking along those lines, but then again, guys, I don't know. That's a lot of freaking points, man. Um, let's see. Let's see. Hogs. Mm. Mm, I am kind of thinking like that. I'm going to say in the 40s for the Hogs and in the 30s for the LSU, man. It could not be that many points, but either way it go, I got the Hogs winning this game. So, fam, look, guys, we got to do this, man. We're going to do it. I really believe we're going to do this. So, anyway, fam, look, like I said all my videos, I love you guys. And also, bro, I love college football. You love college football? We love college football. With that being said, much love. Much love, guys. And stay tuned, stay blessed, I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.